Hey everybody, how's it going this morning or this afternoon whenever you guys are watching this? I gotta start off the video with my Mountain Dew, of course. Just like Cletus McFarland does. But today we've got us a Lincoln in here to service. You guys can see it. These things are uh, fairly nice. They're actually really nice. Come in here to the interior and you can see the dash is pretty much digital. And look where the engine stop and start button is and uh, where you the gear selector buttons it's all on the center console it's it's pretty neat it's definitely different the center console has an opening in the bottom a lot like a Corvette does but it's pretty neat <laughs> So, for those of you that don't know, this is post. This is a Lincoln. You can see Lincoln MKX, and I don't really know if this goes all the way across the length of the the hatch. I mean, I, I'm thinking it does. I know it does on some of the cars. Go all the way across the trunk on some of the newer ones. So uh, I'm not sure, uh, but. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air and get it started. We got a bunch Always of making sure I'm getting in my daily Street Speed 717. I love it. And of course, a 720 in Papaya Spark. Well, not sure if you guys can see that, but looks like this might be the last oil change on this before I have to drain it. So, hey, me. Hey guys, so what you want to ensure that you do so you don't make a mess is obviously you can see that this is underneath this so or behind it so you gotta take out these four little bolts and make sure it's four one two three four yeah. oh, three little torx bit bolts screws whatever you want to call them um i'm fixing to go grab it oh it looks like there's a little snap clip right here too so we'll just zip that off real quick and then i can show you guys what size you need to uh, take the old plug off and I'll tell you what torch bit you need hopefully okay guys so a T30 is what you will need you very very likely you ain't gonna be able to see that I doubt you can still see it T30 right there I lied to you guys it was actually five screws sorry <laughs> for the metric size it's going to be a 15 the camera definitely won't be able to see that so it's a 15 millimeter it's tight enough that you'll be able to take it off and then the oil filter is a 27502 Napa oil filter as I say in all of my oil change videos uh, we only have Napa filters here so I uh, we don't really have enough time to flip through a filters book over there like a cross-reference book to uh, see what kind of filter everybody needs so that's why I just have a we just have Napa filters here and I just got I just tell you guys the Napa filters which these filters are made by the Wix company it's supposed to be really really high quality oil filters also guys make sure if it needs it that you replace the little oil, or little rubber I guess it, it might be a gasket or just a seal or something like that that's on either on the bolt or on the pan itself usually I think it's on the bolt and it'll just get stuck on the pan I could be wrong you guys correct me if I'm wrong but if you're gonna make a YouTube video I need to make sure that I need to and everyone else needs to make sure that you're replacing these if it's needed because all of the uh, all the keyboard warriors that are professional mechanics that have been doing this for 75 Point six seven years are always chewing me out in the comments saying that I'm not replacing the crush seal or whatever they call it or the gasket for the old plug or whatever it is so a lot of times I just don't put that on video because it's you know I would like to think that that's common knowledge when you see it it's bad fix it but I guess everybody's not like me but Whatever the case may be, guys, like I said, just make sure you guys replace what needs to be replaced based on if the owner can afford it. 
which in this case the owner can afford it but in this case it also doesn't need to be replaced so just kind of keep that in mind guys just got the old plug back in just loosened this up and fixing to let her rip tater chip i'm gonna zip that off zip the new one on i actually got the new one as soon as i can find it in our plethora of oil filters that we've got here as you guys can see 27 and it's in numerical order so the fact that i can't just look at it and pick it up after working here for two years it, it's uh it's kind of sad there she is right there 27502 actually i probably need to set that up here i'll just set this right here right next to my video of street speed there and these are a lot of people of them uh, on more of them keyboard warriors I was talking about um, they say that you're only supposed to tighten them a quarter of a turn or half a turn or whatever they said I can't remember what they always say but this is the way I look at it alright one of two things is gonna happen when you're driving your vehicle it's gonna obviously it's gonna heat up the motor's gonna heat up and it's either going to it's going to heat up the oil filter when it does, which means, as we all know, metal expands when it heats up. Now, one or two things can happen. The oil filter can tighten, which happens, and or it can loosen, which happens, because we pull them in here sometimes, and uh, I can get up there and just do like that right there, and the oil filter's loose and draining to that extent. It's loosened itself up. so. That's why what we do here at this shop, and I've uh, explained this before, but some people still don't understand, I guess. Um, well, mostly the non-subscribed people. But what we do here at this shop is we tighten them hand tight. Now, that means that, you know, we get them pretty, pretty tight. Like, I'll show you right here. I'm getting after it, as you can see. <clears throat> and it's it's tight it's on there it's not going to come off and it's not going to back off of it at all to where it can drain and actually lose oil which obviously as we know would hurt the motor so that's the thought process behind that guys it's not going to hurt it at all it's uh it's just a safety thing for us to ensure that we know that we're doing it right and it's not going to leak oil so that's that's just all I got to say about that. So with that being said, I'm going to put this back on, which there's no need for me showing you guys how to do that because it's fairly easy. So I'll zip that back on and we will go up top and I will start doing stuff that I need to do up there. These front ends do look kind of, kind of aggressive here, but right here we can see it's 5W20. You can see that. 5W20 and I looked it is not full synthetic it's just our synthetic blend and uh, I already looked at our card file that we have over there and it's going to take six quarts guys such of these things you're going to take you're going to take six quarts of 5W20 and 27502 Napa filter and a 15 millimeter socket or your little device that like we have to take off the old plug and a T30 torch bit to take off all of the uh, torch bit screws and then a screwdriver to uh, pry the, uh, the snap clip out so you can pull that piece down and uh, that's going to basically cover your entire oil change but also what you guys want to do is you want to check stuff like your washer fluid and your coolant and uh, which is in a lot of different places this is one of those that just has the burp bottle does not have any way that I can see does not have any way where you can check the radiator directly uh, make sure your battery posts are not corroded which this one's not which this vehicle is pretty much it's taken care of you know you gotta check your air filter which I actually have to check here in a minute and uh, you know just go over the regular stuff like that guys so uh, with that being said I'm gonna put oil in it and I am uh, I don't think you guys need me from here you pretty much just put your oil in. There you go. It's going to take six quarts. 
Um, and I mean, that's even what the book says. So if you go by the book, six sports, you're not going to be wrong. So that's going to do it for this upload, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the upload. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this kind of content. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. I have a lot of them already. So, uh, and, uh, tell me what you guys want to see. Thank you to the new subscribers to the channel, by the way. And that's going to do it for this upload, guys. So, I will talk to you guys later. And, uh, we can have some more cool uploads. So, like I said, that's going to do it for this upload, guys. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, on these newer Lincolns and Fords and Dodges, some Dodges, Chrysler products, and even Chevrolet, kind of, uh, there's not a way to shake your transmission fluid, so that's going to be one of those things that's going to be, you're not going to know about, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal, especially on a newer vehicle like this, guys, but like I said, there's no way to check it, so I'm sorry to inform you that information, guys.